A company which helps brighten your yard with living things is now relying on machines to keep plants healthy. Action News anchor Delia Wrong shows us how robots have joined the workforce at a wholesale nursery. Dale? Warren and Grass Yellow, we went all the way to Paris to see for ourselves. That'd be the city of Paris in Riverside County. Reliable, rechargeable robots are now moving flowers and cactus night and day at the nursery. Tucked away in the mountains of Paris, seemingly in a galaxy far, far away, Altman Plants gave us a glimpse into the future. Whirring robots whiz around the nursery to sort through tightly grouped plants, pick them up, and then move them to another spot. It's pretty cool. <laughs> They're actually kind of mesmerizing. So are the brilliant colors you'll find here. The 670-acre nursery supplies retailers like Lowe's, Costco, and Walmart. General Manager Jim Hessler says these roses need room to grow before you buy them, so the robots give them space. Spacing of plants is a huge task in a nursery. You know, we literally have millions of plants that have to be spaced every year. It's probably the least desirable work. Each robot costs $25,000, but they pay for themselves. The company has been able to automate an important task. It needs to be out like okay. this big, and so we've got to give it space to grow. Robot wrangler Miguel Rivera programs this very effective team of robots. He even helped name each dynamic duo. Tom and Jerry, Batman and Robin, uh, Wally, Eve, uh, Bender and Rosie. They do have that Wally look about them. Yeah. <laughs> the robots are programmed to stay within the yellow lines. It's easier than it looks. Sensors allow them to stop on a dime and avoid collisions. They have another sensor that tells them where, where the pot is to pick up. Eight robots work the grounds here at Altman Plants in Riverside County. And Jim Hessler believes more companies will go the robotic route. They go all day, uh, you know, they don't take breaks, uh, no, no injuries. The use of robotics is also growing on the farm. It is a prickly issue, but Manuel Cunha of the Nisei Farmers League says more chores are being mechanized. By doing that, it's because the cost of labor. Workers' compensation is a huge cost to our industry. Cunha says the lack of immigration reform has intensified the labor shortage. Packing facilities are likely to see more robotics, but sweet favorites like oranges and peaches will always require a human touch. Those kind of fruits are probably will never be machine harvested. Uh, the chances of, of damaging them is just too great. If you look at the apricot the wrong way, it'll bruise it. Hessler understands some of his 380 employees may have looked at these robots the wrong way, but says worker worries have been eliminated. Nobody lost their job because there was plenty of other things that, that also yeah. needed to get done. The robots were built by Harvest Automation in Massachusetts. The company is now developing new applications for agriculture. Amazing to watch. <laughs> As we've seen in the past, robots take direction very well. Where do you think you're going? Well, I'm not going that way. And are always ready to follow your lead wherever you may go. They're highly trained, and I kept looking back because I was concerned that robot was going to pick me up and move me to the rose section. <laughs> Harvest Automation supplies robots for 20 nurseries and greenhouses around the U.S., but interest in them just keeps growing. Dale you wrong, ABC 30 Action News. Well, at least we know he wouldn't put Dale in the weeds. That's true. <laughs> no That's way. true. Very yeah. cool. <laughs>